right. Well, we have a little bit of downtime. The kids are sleeping. Chantel's working from home today, and I'm off. So I'm gonna try to finish up some touch-up paint. Today's been kind of a hodgepodge. We've been all over. What else did we do today? We patched some sheetrock. We worked on the pool a little bit. <laughs> Mostly We're doing a little, huh? Mostly you. <laughs> Mostly me, because she's actually work working. And then uh, I'm gonna try to touch this up. Maybe we'll hit the stair rails one last time. This room, this this room here is the the last thing we need to do is paint. I think so. And I definitely vote you do the next coat on the stairs. <laughs> she doesn't want to do any more painting on the stairs. So uh, we got to do that and then knock out these stair rails. We still haven't even touched the set above here. So uh, I'm gonna get some paint. And get started. show is this these little Wooster buckets we got so they're just like regular little paint buckets of course they got like the little insert but the cool thing is they got these magnets on the back I don't know if you guys can see that it's like you have your brush and you can just stick it on the back with a magnet and then it's also got the roll pan too so we have the miniature little rolls you're probably seeing me use too so this thing's been pretty handy I think for everything really doing the trim doing the walls doing the stair rails definitely recommended Okay, since we're on a sidetrack uh, mission today with lots of sidetracking, we got these little, uh, these are the ports for the, the whole house. What is it called again? Central vac. So um, if you touch these wires together, there's actually a vacuum that turns on. Either way, uh, this doesn't really seem to be like creating any suction, so I don't know anything about central vac. Do you know anything about central vac? Zero. Zero? Zero. Okay, well, neither one of us knows what we're talking about when it comes to this. Ah, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is, there it is, you can hear it. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the video. So either way, uh, we're just gonna go in the garage and see if we can figure out, um, you know, why it's why it's not working. And then maybe uh, we'll actually have some uh, some vacuuming to do. Messy, messy everywhere. I know. Enjoy remodeling. The whole house is in. <laughs> remodeling and moving in. Look at all of our stuff. That's our house in the garage. Okay, so here's the vacuum. I don't know if you guys can even see. Can you see? A little dark. There you go. A little better. Well, here what we could do is just go like this. You like? So I think, I think what it might be is maybe this thing is. Full. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> oh, it feels heavy. Does it? Yeah. Uh, it's kind gross. of a trip. What do you think is inside there? Ugh, other people's stuff, stuff. that we don't want to touch. Uh, maybe it's not full. I don't know. It feels heavy. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Dang, it's, it's like hammer. full. Woo. Is that considered full? That looks like sand. It's, it's like halfway. full of sand. See, it's like about halfway. I guess. All right, so we got our garbage. I guess we just put this cone back in there. Disgusting. <laughs> and this has like gross <laughs> remnants. I don't know if this thing's supposed to be. No, more we think. There's like stuff hanging all over Ugh. it. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna get even grosser, I can tell already. Mm, lucky you. You ready? Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. That's the filter. Oh, gross. That's nasty. All right, 
I'm not touching I mean, it, so don't even ask. <laughs> crap, I just tied the, I just tied the, the bag closed. The smooth move, guy. Uh, okay, stand by. One second. It's you, have left, to, huh? you have to give me a second hand. Ugh, I do can't. I have to? Yeah, just touch the bag. <laughs> Here, pull it over. Alright, alright, alright. Ugh. Dang. Oh, don't breathe. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's close it. <laughs> I might just have to get a new filter. I don't know. <laughs> That's not coming off. No, it's not. <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. Look at that. That's like years of like mm. nasty. I'm gonna empty it out last. Huh? Nasty stuff, dude. <laughs> dude, that's so bad. interesting to see how we actually end up using this thing or people just prefer hand vacuuming some people we've heard say they like these things some people don't know anything about them so most people I think don't know anything about them yeah what is this like the silencer <laughs> the suppressor all right all right well we'll go see if we can find one on Amazon or something just for entertainment's sake we decided we're gonna see what happens if we put this blower <laughs> Inside this. Inside Tucker, you might want to <laughs> get out of the way. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. That was probably the dumbest thing we've done so far, so. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> I, just, for, just for examples or testing's sake, we're gonna plug this thing back in, see if we can get this to work. And then uh, I think we both agree, maybe just buy a new one, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. There's, so I think it just sucks air out of all of them. But we can see, hopefully we get something. Oh yeah. Can you hear it upstairs? It's actually doing pretty good. That's a trip. Stairs. So I think it just sucks air out of all of them. But we can see, hopefully we get something. Oh yeah. Can you hear it upstairs? It's actually doing pretty good. That's a trip. So maybe the hmm. suction is pretty good. There is a ton of stuff well, in there. Like I said, you released the, uh, <laughs> emptied it out. Quite a difference it seems. Look at all the stuff that's in there. Oh, more stuff for us to leave this behind, huh? All right, well. Any goodies? Let's see, we got uh, a couple of rocks. <laughs> some paper clips. Some treasure. No money. Damn. No money. Now put your hand on the hole. Are you blown away? Uh, or does it I did, suck? I didn't put my hand over there when you were doing it earlier. That's pretty good. Touch right there. Yeah, that's super easy. Oh, yeah. All right, we finally got our missing piece from the company we ordered this light from. I don't know that we did like a real like full reveal. I know we were super excited about this light fixture, but when we got it, uh, it actually was broken. So I, I think I might have showed in one of the previous clips, but one of these arms, they each have like two hooks on the ends, and one of the hooks was broken off. So we've been using it. But we had to like uh, kind of modify it to make it work. And we really did need the light in here because it, it, it's super dark as you can kind of see right now. But let's see what they sent us. All right, we got it. Got the missing piece. So you can kind of see it has these hooks on the end and uh, for whatever reason, the one that we got, it was broken off of. So I'm gonna grab a ladder, we're gonna put this up real fast, and then we can check out the light. So I'm gonna darken things up for a second, and you can kind of see, let me grab the remote, hold on. Right. Got our remote. You can see this actually really brightens up the room quite a bit. Um, I got one of these little lights. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, they're called Pico lights, so or Pico remote. So I got one of these Leviton like smart switches upstairs, 
and that's because there's only one lead ran up to the upstairs and the switch is upstairs. So like if you walk in the door, you want to turn the light on, you can't do that. So they sell these little like Pico wireless remotes. Uh, so you can add almost like a three-way switch. You can add another switch, uh, which we'll put downstairs. Eventually I got a little uh, like plastic mount. Uh, you can put this into like a, you know, over there we have a three gang box. So I'm gonna put a four gang box in and then we'll install this guy on there. It'll just appear uh, like it's a regular switch, but now we'll have a three-way switch so we can come in and turn the lights on, but pretty happy with it. Since we're on a day of, of uh, side tracking here, I got uh, one little, <laughs> it don't, don't mind the mess back here. This is the last room that we have on floored, so everything is shoved in here. Um, but anyways, we, uh, we had this idea to take uh, some satin Rust-Oleum paint because we have, uh, what is it called? A, uh, it's like a whole house vacuum, what is it called? Oh. Central vac, we have a central vac system. So it came with these like cover plates. I'm sure we can get replacement ones for like 20 bucks, but we thought, you know what, before we do that, let's get some of this. We actually use this on our curtains as well, right? Curtain rods. Curtain rods, yeah, because we had gold, gold curtain rods. So we're gonna try this out, see if it works. If not, you know, worst case, we weren't gonna use them anyway, so we'll just, you know, pick up something else and, and try that out. So let's see how it comes out. I got that on video. So we'll see how those look when they dry out. The other thing we thought about doing too is, I think we have like, uh, was it like aged bronze or rubbed bronze or whatever hardware on the doors. So we thought maybe we could hit the edges of that with some sandpaper or something to kind of like lighten them up, but we'll just see how they look when they dry out. I was just wrapping up editing this video and I realized we did not uh, record an outro. I think when we were kind of recording everything, we hadn't really uh, planned on just making it kind of like odds and ends video totally. We thought there'd be some type of project involved, but uh, you know, sometimes there's a lot of little odds and ends to, uh, to wrap up. But in the next video, we'll be picking back up and uh, getting another project done. So uh, hopefully we should have that coming out shortly. Um, but you know, it's just a good reminder that when you're doing these projects, there's always going to be little odds and ends that, you know, if you don't go back and finish them, then they're just not going to get done. So, um, that's what we chose to focus on for this one. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up on the way out. And if you guys want to keep following along and see what other projects we, uh, we get to, feel free to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.